The senses of smell and taste, to me particularly, are the senses that indicate life and they indicate large amounts of an enjoyment with life. With smell it's linked to so many emotional and memories that, that you have in your lifetime and landmarks as you go through these milestones of life. There's something around that connection of different memories and events and bringing them all together. It affects you every day. You don't even realise that smell is so connected to memories and emotions. So imagine a summer's day and all the different experiences that go towards this is a summer's day. Lying in a park in the sunshine, we have the, the feel of the sun on our skin, we have the noise of, of whether it's insects or children running around or maybe a, 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 a lawn being mown nearby and the smell which comes off from it and, and the smell of cigarettes floating across. And so it's all of those different ingredients come together for that sense that we have on that first summer's day. We always know when it is going, oh, it's summer, it's actually real, it's here. And, but if you take away one of those ingredients, then suddenly the rest of it doesn't quite hang together in the same way. And so it means that it's hard for us to get in touch with those emotions and it means that we are affected in many ways that most people don't understand. And with taste, it's, it, it makes up the, the true sort of like the backbone to, to all kinds of food. Uh, food without no taste is, has no flavour. It's, it's a very difficult to make yourself actually to want to eat it and enjoy it. So imagine at some point you couldn't feel the sun on the skin, then all of that experience would not quite feel as real and as, and as, and as fundamental as it does. And that for me what sense of smell does is it brings together these other elements of life, those parts that we can see, the part that we can hear, the emotional connections we have. That link between smell and, and emotion, I had never given it a thought before, but I presume that's what causes me to, to, uh, to get emotional about it, because otherwise, you know, for the most part, I shrug it off thinking, eh, so I can't smell it. But there are moments when it, it does really strike me emotionally. Food is, you know, a, a product that, that's shared, and usually with family and friends, and it's, a, you know, a, a central point of bringing people together. It's done over food, whether that's at a birthday, Christmas, or whether you're in a restaurant, you, you know, it, it's all done over food and drink. And that's why with smell and taste related disorders, it's taken away that massive part of it and it makes it very, very difficult to want to be in that environment. You almost want to seclude yourself from it. We love to eat, we love to drink, we love the flavours, the smells and everything that comes from those experiences and that forms a whole part of the polysensory understanding of the world. There's this, there's this point where it's, it's, it's absolutely essential ingredient to everything else and then without it something's missing and we're in that point of going well I, I'm in this slightly thinner experience but with it then suddenly there's a fullness to life that comes with it. Please talk about smell and in its positive, negative um, and all of the spectrum in between it's just to talk about it and that will enable people who can smell as much as people who can't smell to start to understand the contribution that smell brings to everyday life. Don't take your sense of smell for granted. Consider it. Acknowledge it, you know, be aware of it all the time. It can go.